Hello and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Meetups. Today we're talking about portfolios, we're going to be talking about book and quills, and we're going to be talking about the using cameras with your portfolios. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and go to my screen here. I'm going to move this out of the way. There we go. Okay. All right. Let me hide this so I don't see that anymore. And get back in here. Here we go. Okay. So here I am in this world that I've been in now for two and a half weeks. And um, we're going to talk about what what's in our inventory down here. And we have the book and quill. And the book and quill we can use. We can put lots and lots and lots of things in there. We can use pages and pages and pages. We can write a lot. Um, with the portfolio, we can't write as much, but we can take pictures and put those pictures in there and put a little caption, almost like a like a tweet of of what that picture is about. We can take selfies. Of course, that's basically how you use the camera. And you can also take pictures of other things as well. And that so that's why it's important to have the camera along with the portfolio together. So let's look and see how we can we can use these items together and how we can send them to teachers and how teachers can get a hold of them. And so that way they can see what the students have actually written. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am on my hot bar down here and I'm on number seven, which is the book and quill. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And of course, on a Mac that's using another button so I'm pressing P and on a Windows machine it's a right click so here's page one and I can just start typing away in here and move on to page two and you can see that it goes as far as it wants to go so I could actually write a page a day uh, you know this all this COVID thing this this might be a good way to you know today in Minecraft we're doing this tomorrow you know work work I'm doing this I've learned how to take pictures I've learned how to do this so they could actually create like a journal with this book or if you wanted them to write about a specific character or this is how you feed chickens this is how you feed horses this is how you feed. they could do any number of things with with within this journal when they're finished with the our the journal the the book and quill when they are finished with the book and quill what they are going to do is they're going to sign it the students are going to sign it this is something you're going to have to tell them to do because they're not just going to automatically do it or they might do it after the first time and then they can't go back and edit it so be careful with that when they sign it it's it's got my name here because that's my name for um uh, for minecraft that is my account name so i'm going to put a title in here i'm going to put practice and maybe i'm even going to put in here m daniel practice or, or misha daniel practice so that way my teacher would know that's what what the, the name is going to be okay all right so now if i sign and close i'm not going to be able to edit it anymore it's just going to be like a pink book that's now in my inventory okay so i'm going to go ahead and sign and close and now you'll see that number seven it's not a brown book anymore it's now a pink book so i'm going to go ahead and open that up again by pushing the use button or the right click and here's my journal my my book and quill and I'm going to export it so that way I can get it to my teacher. So when I export it, it's going to save it as this up here. This is going to be that I can actually change the, the name of the, of the file. So I'm going to change it to Misha D book one. Okay. And I'm going to save that in my, on my desktop so that way I know where it's at. And I'm going to save it. Okay. So now, now um, it's been exported. Okay. If I'm writing and I'm not sure what I have written here, um, which, you know, I can't, I can't do anything to this one. So we'll go ahead and, and get out of this here. There we go. And I'm going to go back into my inventory. I, I still have the book, even though I exported it to my desktop, I still have it here. So what I can do is I can put it up in here. Okay. And I can take out another book and quill and put that in my inventory right here. So now I have a new one that I can start working on. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and open up this new one here. And one of the things if I write in here, today is a great day. And I can click here on the immersive reader and it's going to load what I've written there. And I push play. And you're not... So it's reading page one of, of two. Today is a great day. Page two of two. 
Um, so now it, it's actually telling me um, everything that's on these two pages. Is it, and if I go farther in it, it would read those pages to me also, as well, which is really good for our kids who are still struggling with that writing process. If they, di if they didn't spell it correctly, of course, it's going to um, not read it correctly to them. And that might, that might uh, be something that they need to work on. But I want you to notice this in the immersive reading. We have, we have some voice settings. We can check a male or a female voice. We can make the speed go a little bit higher. We can make the speed go a little bit lower. So that's, that's one of the things that we can do with the immersive reader. Um, we also can have the line focus uh, when we can have it translate. Look at all the languages that are in here. So not only will it read it in English, but it can actually translate it into another language and then read it in that language as well. That's what's so amazing about this immersive reader that they've just added to Minecraft. So now, you know, if I, if no longer is language a barrier in my classroom. Minecraft is no longer just in English. It is in a variety of languages, and now it will actually read it to me in the language that I am most comfortable with. So this is a great, great feature to have. Using the immersive reader is awesome, and you can use it with the book and quill to get your kids writing more. Um, it's, it's really, really great. Love it. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of the book and quill. Now we're going to take a look at the camera. Okay. And the camera, cameras are really, really cool because you can turn them around and you can take pictures of all kinds of things, or you can have them, them actually face, face you and take a picture. So if I set a camera up right here, and again, I'm using the use button. I'm, I went to my hot bar, went to number nine, because that's the one that's the camera. So if I go to eight, that's the portfolio. Number nine is the camera. And I'm going to push P and I am in front of the camera. Now, if I push P or right click again, it's going to take my picture. There I am. So we're going to go ahead and, and wait, where did the picture go? The picture actually went straight into my portfolio. So, and you'll notice here that my portfolio is number eight. So the camera and the portfolio go hand in hand. My pictures that I take get placed into my portfolio. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And look at that. I did this one earlier today when I was in here, when I was taking a picture for the, the Twitter uh, photo that I wanted to put out there. And, um, and this is the one I just took right now. So I can actually put a caption on here. And I could say, getting ready for Minecraft meet up. Now, that's almost as much text as I can put on here. Okay. And this one, I, of course, I can put a caption. Now, again, you're going to have to be very careful with how much the of text that you're going to put in there because you only have it a little bit. Now, if I don't like the picture, all I have to do is trash the picture. Okay. Um, and again, here's that export portfolio. I can export this to my teacher just like I could with the with uh, the book and quill. I can export this and my teacher then can see what I've been working on and what I've been taking pictures of and, and keeping track of. OK, so and, and this has as many pages again as I want it to have. And again, I have my immersive reader down here in the lower right hand corner. So it will read to me what I've written on there in the event that maybe I've misspelled something. Again, I can translate it. All the same features that I had in the book and quill, I now have in the portfolio. Okay. So this is really cool, but I don't have to just take pictures of me. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of here. So we're just going to go over here. And I want to take a picture. There we go. If I if I look at it and I push the button where I can't, I don't place the camera first. So I'm not again, I'm just using the use button. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna take a picture of him. Okay. And I'm gonna take some pictures of these slimes right here. There we go. And now I'm gonna go into my portfolio because now I want to write about them. Okay, put up my portfolio and I'm going to actually go back a couple pages here. Okay, and you're going to notice that what I put originally is now on page five and six because it's kind of like it's walking backwards because the last picture I took is going to be the one that I probably am going to write about. So that's how it does it. It pushes them back within the portfolio. So here I am. I'm walking. Looks like I'm voguing actually in this picture. 
And this one, I took a picture of a structure. So I could put on here, I could type in here about that structure. And there is the donkey that I took a picture of and the slimes that I took a picture of. Now, again, if I don't want the picture, all I have to do is click on the trash can and I can remove it. And it will remove as many images as I want until I'm on the correct page. Okay, so now I have three pictures in here. And, um, you know, I can, I, I can use this camera for anything. I can even, as I'm flying, looking down, and I can take a picture. Yeah. Okay. So, once again, I don't place the camera first. I just, because because I'm up so high, I can't place it. Okay. But if I go down and I aim at the ground, and then now I place the camera, and now it's going to be a selfie. So if the camera's in place, it's going to be a selfie. If I'm, if I'm holding the camera and I'm not placing it, then I get to take pictures of whatever it is that I like to take a picture of. Okay. But you're going to notice, once again, if I, if I go ahead and it's going to follow me. Oh, see, I was right up close to the camera there. Okay. So that's how we would use the camera and how we would use the portfolio and the quill. So how could I use this with language arts? Well, if I were to create a world, and we've talked a little about non-player characters, and I made a character, say, George Washington um, or Abraham Lincoln, and I gave, I said, hi, I'm Abraham Lincoln, and I'm here today to talk to you about history. And um, and then maybe I have a world and where I have some boards, and we've made those boards so the kids can't destroy them, and they have information, maybe about either about the presidents, about the planets, about whatever it is that I'm that I am learning about, and I say it within some instructions, build this, you know, a four by four with you know with area four by four inside, and take a selfie with it, and then and then ex explain to me how you did it in your. Uh, book and quill so I could actually take a picture of it and it will obviously will go into my portfolio and then I can give it a caption here's me with my structure and then I could write about it in my portfolio you know put today's date and then add some information about that that item that I created or write about George Washington take a selfie with George Washington and write about him about something that that he told you a fact that he told you or something that you've that you've discovered about him that you've researched about him so using that pen and quill and in the world of Minecraft there's so many different ways that we can um, get our kids to write that's not just about okay take out your paper we're gonna write an essay today um, you know that that's uh, yes that's still needed and it's still valid but it's it's uh, also um, make it a little bit more engaging by by doing it in the Minecraft world. So I'm going to go ahead and give you an example of that. So I'm going to make something here. I'm just going to just really quickly here. One, two. There's the four. Okay. And we're going to do by four here. Oops. Inside, we have one, two, three of a three by three inside. So if I wanted a four by four, of course, this wouldn't this wouldn't be accurate. But I could set back just like that, pull out my camera, take a picture. Oops, I put it down. I can come on. It's raining, so it's gonna give me trouble. There we go. There we go. I got it in there too. All right. I take a picture of it, and then of course I can go into my into my portfolio first. Okay. Go into my portfolio here, and there's my and I can put my structure. Okay, and I and I'll put whatever I want to put in there, um, and then I could close up my portfolio. And then I am going to open up my book and quill. Okay. And 
maybe I'm going to start on page two. I'm going to, I'm going to say 4-8-20. Okay. Today I learned about area and I can, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I cannot just be doing language arts, but I can be doing math as well as long as I'm writing about it and using those complete sentences. And again, using that immersive reader to help me along the way in the event that I'm, I might not be the best writer in the world. This is gonna help me to get better. And of course, I'll be able to, to listen to the, the, the speaker say all of the words. So also I could use this even as a, as a Spanish lesson or as a, as a second language lesson, because maybe I write it in English and then I translate it into the other language and then I listen to it. And so it, you know, it's going to read it to me in a, in a different language and then, Oh yeah. Okay. That's how I would say that. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use the um, portfolio and that you can use the book and quill and that you can use the immersive reader and the camera. Some other ways that we can we can use these. We have just a little bit more time left here. Um, so once again, I could go around, I could have my kids, I could have my little first graders and say, okay, you know what? I want you to figure out what a, what a pig likes to eat. So first get into your inventory and find some food that for, for your pig. So I'm going to look down through here. I'm going to find something that I think my pig would like to eat. I think he's going to like carrots. So let's see what happens when I hold up a carrot. And look at that. My little pig friend comes over. So I'm going to feed him some carrots. So now my first graders could take out their book and quill. They could take out their camera. Okay. Take a picture. And they keep that picture right about it. Here's my, my pig, my, my piggy friend. He likes to eat carrots. Let's let's see what uh, what my chicken might like to eat. And again, I always go back to first grade because I taught it for so long. Um, but even even middle school kids, they may not know what what the different animals eat. I'm gonna hold out some pumpkin seeds and see if I can get any. I get my little chicken friend over here to, oh, he sees me. He sees me. Here he comes. I've got some pumpkin seeds in my hand. And I'm going to give him some pumpkin seeds. And now he loves me. And we're going to take a picture of him. There he is. Now i got a picture of him. And, you know, I'm going to take another picture because he's just so cute. There we go. Oh, that, that slime just kind of got into the shot. So, again, I could I could actually talk about that I could I could get out my coding agent okay put by pushing C and now the coding agent should be nearby usually he's he's very nearby let me go back in and we're, we're, we'll make him teleport to us and then that'll be then I could take a picture of him Okay, on start, we'll have him teleport to me. There we go. And there we go. So now there's my coding agent. I can come right here and I can get a nice, nice picture of him right here. Back away a little bit. Take a picture. Oh, come on now. There we go. Okay, so now I have a picture of my coding agent. I could talk about today. I learned how to do some coding. I learned how to teleport my coding agent to me. Again, the, these are things that we can have our kids do. Um, if you create or you're creating a world about um, using the chemistry components. Today we talked about using carbon and oxygen, and we made a balloon, or we made an ice bomb, or we you know, they can actually write about that inside of their book and quill and take pictures and with the selfies inside of their portfolios. And then we're going to just take a look at some of these pictures that are in here. And you can see how fun this would be to share out with students and have their students share out with you. And this is a great way for y'all, even though you're far away from each other and you want to see what they're writing and just 
instead of writing on a Google Doc, um, you can actually write in Minecraft. Um, just a little bit of writing here, but you can do a whole lot of writing with the book and quill and go page by page. And on every day, you could have them write the date and, and, and write something new. If they want to write two or three pages in a day, that, I think that would be great too. And you don't want to have them sign it until you're ready to collect it. So maybe you want to do it, have them do it for a week. Maybe you want to have them do it for a few days and then, and then turn it into you. And then they could send that to you. Uh, they can email it to you. Um, they can put it in their Google Drive and share it with you. So there's a lot of different ways that we can we can share out these these uh, pen and quills, these portfolios with the pictures in them, and just make writing fun within Minecraft. And we are just about out of time, and so that's all I'm going to say about that today. And again, if you have questions or or you just want to know something more, you know how to reach me. You know what my email is. Um, so just just let me know how we can help. Uh, you know, there's we've got a lot more coming coming later on this week with Minecraft. We have one, one another session tomorrow. Friday, we're taking the day off because it is Good Friday. And next week, if you look at the tutorial list for, for Minecraft, we'll have the sessions, what we're going to be doing for next week. I'm still toying with a couple of them, so I want to make sure that we, we have some good sessions out there for everybody. So take care and keep on crafting.